What's up? This is your crawl to arms. What's up, people? Good morning. It's Thursday. I'm in the depression cave. And uh, it's good to just sit back and let things play out right now. We had our crazy rally. Sell-off rally, rally, sell-off, sell-off, sell-off. And I just saw something that I was going to say, me and the reformed uh, broker on the same lines. The Greek referendum to the referendum. They're going to make policy to make policy that's going to make policy. We're still being dictated around. Uh, the world is being dictated by a little tiny nation. Sure, they invented democracy and the birthplace of civilization. But you know what? Enough. Let's move on already. Can't we just move on? Can't we figure out how to move on from here? We were able to sweep the Great Depression too underneath the rug. In America, we can't figure out what to do with Greece. Come on. All right. I'm tired of having to wake up. Everything's different every day and it has nothing to do with us. But what has to do with us is this guy being wrong. And I still, I still find it amazing that people say I only talk about the winners. <laughs> really? Uh, the loser, Harvard Financial. I haven't even checked the quote on it yet. But last I saw, it was down. Maybe I should... Uh, give you a quick update on it but uh everything i thought was wrong this is why making predictions in the stock market is pointless um it's only down a little bit maybe a point or so i don't really get a real price right now but when i first started reading up about the casualties and the damages that hurricane irene brought it, it looked like it was reading that it wasn't so bad but apparently it was bad and worse than I thought it was going to be, and worse than a lot of people thought it was going to be, according to Hartford. Also, they said because of the market, they didn't make as much money as they thought they would. So this quarter turned out to be a, a weak one for them. Not concerned, because Harvard Financial is, what are we calling Harvard Financial? An investment. We're looking to hold on to it. Either it breaks 15, then we dump it, or 14 and change. Or we're hanging on to it. So there's your prediction for you. Hartford Financial is a portfolio holding. Not a day trade, not a swing trade. And we were looking to buy it into the numbers. And you know what? Last week, a lot of people bailed out of it in the 20s. I sold it when it was gapped up on Thursday. The majority of it. I told everybody what I was doing. And then we were buying it back just yesterday. So we're really only maybe down a point if you just added to your position. Son of a, you got eyes, got out of 20. But way too much talking already. Three minutes in and I'm already bored of myself. So Hartford Financial, everything I thought was going to be uh, a, a rosy quarter for them. I thought they were going to announce the complete opposite of what they're announcing. I thought the hurricane wasn't going to be as bad. And I thought they'd be able to turn around and maybe get back into the 20s today. But looks like we're going to have to wait that one out. All right, moving on to Cisco. I think they're reporting next. And uh, that's another company we like. We also like that incubator stock that we were talking about in the chat room. And again, remember guys, after November 11th, if I haven't invited you to the chat room, you're going to have to take an extra couple of steps. Guys that have been in the chat room so far, thanks very much. We had some new guys in the, in the room yesterday. And if you're an old guy and, a, and if you stop in the chat room for 20 minutes or 30 minutes, sometimes you might not get anything. Sometimes I'm not even there. I do, I do have to take a break throughout the day. But normally it's 9.30 to 11.30 or 12.00. And then I'll take an hour or an hour and a half break. And then it's mostly for the rest of the day. And a lot of times the afternoon is the, is the screw around time. But if we've made money in the morning, I'm not going to allow you guys to trade too much in the afternoon. Because I want to preserve capital, build your guys' accounts. And then we'll, we'll talk about afternoon trading at a later date. But, because afternoon trading right now has been extremely difficult. The choppiness is even more so. But yesterday we had a couple of decent trades. Uh, so... Come there, come there and experience it for yourself. And uh, if you've been there, come back. If you've been there every day, thanks very much. And I'm getting out a whole nother crop of emails today. And then we're going to allow, and the haters, most importantly, the haters, the doubters, the detractors, everybody, come on in. Come on in and see what it's all about. And again, if you have a website you want to promote, I, I'm one of those guys that's not going to poo-poo you and say, don't come to the chat room or don't come to the website if you want to talk about what you have. But if you're going to come and talk about how great your website is, if you're going to talk about how great and smart you are, you have to give us specific picks, 
time frames and why you like it and then we'll put you on the board or the our board in our brains will track you and then we'll see if we want to make fun of you or compliment you so if you're gonna promote your own site promote how smart you are be ready to put up or shut up okay on that note let's uh, make this something of a better day than it was yesterday alright see ya